Hey everybody, how you doing? Wanted to make a quick video on the Mineport Laser. I've had it for just about a year now and I'm gonna be doing a full review on it and let you know how it's performed over the past year. Uh, it's, it's been very, very good. I've already made good money on it. I've surpassed the cost of the machine easily and I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of this large format machine. So this guy, Retails around $4,500. Um, I know they put it on sale around, you know, Black Friday and stuff. You can pick it up as low as like $3,500. Um, it is a 24 by 36 bed. It's 80 watt. And uh, I couldn't be any happier with it. Um, it's very large. The only negative maybe is the size. Uh, but that's really the only way you're gonna get a 24 by 36 or bigger. Uh, cutting bed size so very happy with this machine actually right now let me flip you around all right let's switch over to the machine just going to make this a real quick video if you're into this at all please subscribe and like this video i will be doing a lot more videos on this machine as well as i'm even going to do a video of my first year sales on etsy using this exact laser and also my 3d printing farm um, anybody could do this. There's definitely money to be made. This sheet is a great example. Um, this is a 1 8 inch sheet of acrylic. It costs about $7 from who I get it from. And then there is a 3M automotive adhesive backing on it. That's about the same price. So about 15 bucks total. Oh no. I hate that. Well, there's one of the issues. Actually, that's all. That's kind of a good thing. Let me, uh, yeah, that's a, nah, that's a pain for me. So what just happened? Hey, let's, let's go ahead and add this to this video. This is one of the big negatives that I didn't know about going into lasering is these CO2 lasers have to run at certain temperatures. So right now outside it is 32 degrees, but I am, as you can see in my garage and I bought one of these portable heaters and I got the room up to 69 degrees, which I thought was gonna be good enough. I probably needed to let it run for a little bit longer, um, but the cooling in the system is obviously colder than this room. So every once in a while, it'll do exactly that and kind of pause the print. Um, I'll be able to finish this later so it's not a lost sheet, but I'll have to go in and remove what it's already cut and then start basically from that square again, a rectangle. But anyways, uh, yeah, I didn't know that going into lasering. Uh, you have to have like, this particular machine really only works when it's like 60 degrees and above Fahrenheit. Um, other than that, it just does that exact air. It's a water coolant air. The water is too cold for the laser to work, which I never thought would be an issue. You think you'd want it colder, but it affects the overall uh, process of the laser. But anyways, there's one negative. That'll be in the review. Um, but that's something very common for any laser, so it's nothing to do with the Monport laser here. So anyways, let's go ahead and... Well, let me show you. As you can see water air work paused so i'll i'm gonna heat up this i'll probably make it 80 degrees in here so that the it can get you know i'll probably make it like 80 degrees in here to where the whole machine's kind of warmed up and usually i can get it to cut without that air i thought it was going to work this time but it doesn't not a big huge deal because it's so cold out um, but that is one of the big negatives of this huge machine um, i am moving in like five months, I'm debating if I want to have this down in my basement. Uh, the only negative with that, of course, is going to be the fumes. Even though it exhausts the fumes out, you know, a hole wherever you put it, mine's right there. You still get some of the smell, especially with acrylic. Um, so I don't really want that lingering in my house, even though it's in my basement. Not sure yet what I'm going to do with that, but... Anyways, let's get back to the sheet real quick. I'll start over. The sheet itself cost me about $7.00. The backing, which is a 3M backing here. Automotive grade, real sticky. That's about another seven, eight dollars total for the whole sheet. So 15 bucks into the sheet. 
And after I sell whatever this is I'm selling, it adds up to right at $400. So turning a $15 sheet into $400, and that's of course before shipping and fees and all that stuff from like Etsy. Um, but still an amazing turn profit on one sheet of very thin acrylic. So, and this is something custom that I've made myself. Uh, no, no, there's actually nobody else selling it, and that's why they're selling so good. Um, I actually have to cut three sheets of these because I have orders for them already. Um, so yeah, 15 bucks into 400. Where, where, where can you do that for real? So pretty excited. Once again, there will be a full review on this. Um, it's been, well, I'll tell you on the review. I'll give you pros and cons and if I recommend it. And um, do me a favor, guys, like this video and subscribe. Um, I'm actually kind of glad that it aired out there for the video's sake because that's my biggest gripe on this but once again it has nothing to do with this particular laser it's just laser cutting in general they all have to be a certain temperature and i thought heating up the room real quick would solve that but once i get it i'm gonna go ahead and get this up to like 80 let that heater run and then i think it's gonna finish and cut no problem i could probably get it to finish right now but i'll go ahead and heat it up all right guys if you enjoyed this video at all do me a favor, like and subscribe for real. It really helps me a lot and it's free. If you have any questions, let me know. And like I said, I'm probably gonna do a video of how much money I made using this machine and my 3D printers for the year of 2024, my first year ever. And I'm pretty dang proud with what I achieved, starting with no clue how to use this thing to designing my own products and selling them online. So, all right guys, have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.